continuing my quest to go to Disney every single day until the Smash Bros. Sora Amiibo releases, I have reached the end of 2023. Welcome to the last episode of the year. This week didn't really have any news for the parks, other than some merch restocks, which I will not be able to cover every single one. So let's get started. Day 99, December 21st. Since I was trying to resort hop last week, I opted to go to All Stars, as Movies is one of my favorite resorts, and it's nice to just get to walk around such a large area that isn't a park. And I also, you know, didn't actually get to go last week. As I was a little pressed for time, I only managed to hit parts of music and movies. I did get to do a video about the Seasons Greeting Magic Band Plus theme inside of the Toy Story area, so that was fun. I'm so used to the chaos of a spring trip at these resorts that the relative peace of going before the parks are closed made for an almost Port Orleans tranquility at the main value resorts. Especially going around Fantasmic and Mighty Ducks. Day 100, December 22nd. I genuinely can't believe I made it to day 100. It is super thrilling to see a three digit number on something that requires this much effort to record. I took my wife and my brother to Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge to see the holiday decor before Disney starts taking it down in a few days. Jumbo House actually had a fair amount of merch that I hadn't seen in a while, so that was really interesting as well. Day 101, December 23rd. On Saturday, I honestly took a lazy day, so the only thing I ended up doing on property was driving through it to get my wife's medications. Day 102, December 24th. From the thumbnail and the video I released on Sunday, this should be no surprise. I went to Blizzard Beach to search for Magic Band Plus functionality. There isn't any huge shocker. I haven't gotten to go to Blizzard since my professional internship at Disney, so this was actually my first time ever getting to see the park during actual operations. I got to go down Summit Plummet, which meant going up the same steps I went on during my intern day, but this time with no shoes. Very bad idea, just take the ski lift, which I also did. Mostly to get the video footage, because I wasn't going to walk back up the stairs again. I also went on downhill double dipper, mostly because it wasn't just a body slide. It was really solid, and I enjoyed getting to use my water park pass, since I never actually utilized it. I just never realized that the water parks actually allow me in when I'm blocked out from the theme parks. Good to know. Day 103, December 25th. Ah, Christmas Day. I went over to Hollywood Studios to try to meet Santa Duffy. Unfortunately, I was too late, so I didn't get to meet him. I did, however, find a Jollywood Nights shirt still available. That kind of helps convince me that they're not going to bring the event back, but we'll see next year. To round out the night, I saw the first time in forever a Frozen sing-along with the Olaf Holiday Extras. It was fun, though sitting on the very end of a row makes for a terrible viewing angle, and I do not recommend it. Day 104, December 26th. On Tuesday, I went to Epcot to check out Mission Space to see if the Magic Band screens were back up and running. They weren't. So instead, I went through Creations and found some new merch, namely this spider plush and a shoulder plush of Star from Wish. Then I hopped over to Hollywood Studios to see if I could confirm that Star Tours had the screens back up. The answer is still no. Gotta say, it's kind of hard to get footage for this when there's so many people around. Day 105, December 27th. So I started my journey by getting on the Skyliner from Pop Century, and then I got a call about a family matter, so I rode back and went home. Without the five reservations from my annual pass, it is kind of hard to secure every day I need to get into the parks, but that's okay. It's insanely busy right now, and I can't really get anything done with how little time I have during the week. I did go ahead and schedule some reservations for next week, though, so hopefully it won't be too terrible. I've got a ton of ideas planned for 2024, I just need to find the time to do them. 
anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next week. Bye!